welcome to another paint pot tutorial. So today we're going to be turning this lovely bauble into this commemorative 2020 bauble. So um, this year has been a bit weird and I thought what best better way to mark it than to create a bauble specifically for it. I mean you could go a bit more topical than I have gone <laughs> um, by like writing all of the things that have happened this year on the bauble perhaps um, but I've gone quite basic and I thought because it's quite a nice um, bauble you can make with your family it'd be a nice one to cover. So yes we have a tutorial today on how to create this lovely 2020 commemorative bauble um, and it's got glitter so let's get started. So for today's video we're going to be painting a bauble and I'm going to do it um, in kind of like a snowy like set so we'll have like a nice red colour at the top merging into like a snowy glitter at the bottom and then I'm thinking I'm going to put 2020 on there because you know we want to come around commemorate this year it's been a bit of a weird one so I think let's get started let's get I think when I'm going to do the red first because it's quite um, a powerful color so I want to make sure that I don't go too far down um, so yeah let's get that started so I want a really bright red so as always with pottery painting you want to do three layers of each coat so I'm going to be doing three layers of each coat so Let's go. I'm going to do this bit as well because um, although it won't be seen once the golden top goes on, it will be going in the kiln. So I want to make sure um, that we can still like make sure that it's, it's not seen visible under this gold bit, that it's not red. So we want to make sure we cover this top bit, but we don't need to do the inside of the top. I'm going to go down to about here, I think. So we'll just see how it goes. Um, there's no set plan. Okay, so I was going to put a bit of washi tape around here to make sure I reach the same kind of level the whole way around. But it's snow, so snow doesn't stay the same level the whole way around. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave it um, Maybe I'll do a little bit more, but I'm going to leave it rough so that um, the snow's picked up a bit more. But yeah, I think I need to go further down a little bit. And who knows, it's 2020, so maybe we're going to have um, a crazy amount of snow and actually have a white Christmas this year. I mean, stranger things have happened <laughs> in this bizarre year, so this may be a perfect commemorative bauble. Okay. Right, that's the first coat done. So I'm going to do another two coats um, and leave the bottom bit quite rough so that the white and the grey that I'm going to kind of combine into a, a nice kind of snowy look um, don't get overshadowed by the red. So Okay, so um, that's looking nice and red on the top now. Um, obviously, it's not looking bright red because it's not been in the kiln yet, but it will be looking very red. Um, so I'm just going to let that dry so I can touch it and then we'll do the bottom. Okay, so I've pulled out some white and some grey. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint um, the first coat pure white. Um, I know this um, is white, but it comes out like an off-white and I really want a pure white. Um, snow and then what I'm going to do on the second coat is going to do white and then like incorporate a tiny bit of grey into it because snow's not I know I just said it's pure white but it can give off a kind of silvery glow so I want that kind of silvery glow and we're going to be using some glitter paint so it's going to come off really snowy so um yeah let's get it painted white um so same process but this time I'm going to be going white slightly over the red um, and we'll see how that comes out. So 
So around the edges I'm going to be doing like this kind of effect so it looks a bit more snowy rather than it's just like paint strokes. Um, yeah, we don't want it to look painted, we want it to look snow filled. So if I start that now we should have a nice white border coming up. So we have like a sort of start of a snowy um, line so whole of the bottom of the bauble should be painted obviously it's very hard to see with white so I'm going to go over it again um, and then we're going to do that um, grey kind of effect. <laughs> You can still see the red line here so um, we'll just have to go over those bits um, a little bit more thoroughly but as it's snow it's not um, it's like it's gonna be fine if you can still see the red through it because you know snow is transparent so you know we're not perfectionists but you know we strive for some sort of perfection <laughs> Right, okay, so that should be our second coat. So it's looking pretty nice, it's looking quite snowy now. Um, so what we'll do is we'll um, go over it again and this time I'm going to start adding some grey swirls in um, because we want it to look like kind of rough snow. Um, otherwise, I think this is just too perfect otherwise. <laughs> It's not going to show up much the grey, but it should give the snow a bit of texture. I'm hoping anyway. So we just want a tiny bit on our brush along with the white. Oh. So you can see it kind of looks a little bit like a cloud. And we're just going to go around in like circles to kind of rub it in. And like every now and then just dip a bit of more grey in. So if you can see, I hope you can see that, there's a nice snowy texture now because we've just added like a tiny bit of um, accented snow, if, it, if that's, that's how I would describe it anyway. So here we go, we've got some nice accented snow. I'm quite pleased with that. Just add a tiny bit more gray here. Right. Okay, so I'm gonna let that dry and then we're gonna go over the snowy border again and then we're going to get on with the glitter. Okay, so I found a makeshift stand, which is brilliant. Um, it's not perfectly like safe but it works um so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to be adding some snowfall um to the bauble so with the um, detailed right at top um, i'm going to be adding some um snow so i'm going to be doing some like just spots um various sizes randomly placed um because i um yeah i think it will look very pretty so um yeah that's what we're going to do now Okay, 
so nice and spotty i mean it doesn't look perfectly like snowfall but i like it so um we will now get our glitter paint so this glitter paint um is perfect for this it's um a clear glitter so um obviously it's got a white tinge to it because of the glitter inside um but what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this glitter on all of the white bit at the bottom but just one coat um and then i'm going to add a little bit of thicker glitter around the border and then i'm also going to put like little drops of glitter on some of the snow at the top so it's going to be a nice glittery bauble um, and I hopefully it's going to turn out beautifully. So let's get glittering, shall we? Remember to try and dry your brush off quite a bit between um, after washing it because um, it can make the paint that you've already put on there come off and it can also um, make it thinner. So we don't really want thin glitter. All right, so be prepared. The the snow at the top will take maybe like 15 minutes to dry or so. So I went and grabbed a cup of tea. <laughs> so yeah, just um, obviously when you're doing thick dots like that at the top, it will take a bit of time to dry. So now we're gonna add some glitter. So I'm only, as I said before, I'm only gonna do like one layer of glitter on the bottom. So nothing too thick, I'm just going to put it on. Go right up to the borders, right? Try and be careful so you don't get it on the red. I think we glittered everywhere else. Looks pretty good coverage to me. Um, obviously you can't see it very well. Um, but it is um, very glittery. But it will come out much more once it's been in the kiln, um, as with everything else. So now I'm just going to go over the border, just add a tiny bit more glitter to the border. Okay, so with one of my smaller brushes, um, not like a really small brush, just one that will do the job, like on a smaller scale. So we're just going to take more glitter and we're just going to dab it on by the border. And um, if you get a tiny bit on the red, I don't think that's any problem. And I say that because I just did. <laughs> okay, so we've got that nice and glittery. Um, I'm only going to do two coats because um, I think it'll be a nice shine. I don't think we need more than that. Um, and now we're going to use the detailed writer and we're going to just dab on a bit of glitter onto the top snow. Just to make it feel a little bit more magical and for it also to kind of tie in with the bottom. So I'm going to go mostly on the bigger bits. And then... Right, so time to fetch another cup of tea, I think, because that's going to take a while to dry as well. So, um, yep, let's leave the glitter to dry. And then I've decided we're going to do the 2020 writing in green. Um, I'd normally do like writing like this in black, but I think that actually the green would look a lot better because it's a bit more Christ Christmassy colour. OK, so I've decided where I'm going to put my 2020 writing. There's like a little bit of a gap here and um actually changing my mind there's a bigger gap this side so there's a little bit of a gap where there's not as much snow so i am going to put 2020 here so um just as normal with the detailed writings just kind of try and do it i try and do it as freestyle as possible um you can get some felt tip pens and write it on but um i'm just gonna just gonna wing it i'm just gonna go for it so Let's see how it goes. <laughs> Here we go. So we've got 2020 written. Uh, that shoe's a little bit bigger than I'd want. But you know, that's the that's the kind of joy of pottery painting. Everything's not going to be exactly perfect. So uh, yeah, so I'm going to leave that all to dry now. Um, and then it will be going in the kiln. Um, and we'll be able to see the transformation um, just 
in a few minutes for you but it's going to be a few days for me so um yeah so here it is out of the kiln um looking very beautiful the red is really popping and i don't know if you can see on the camera but the glitter is really shining so um i'm really pleased with my bauble it's going to look perfect on my christmas tree this year um as with all pottery painting places it does come with the hanging gold um topper um so yeah so um don't be too worried if um, when you're painting you don't see the topper um because it comes once it's out of the kiln um so yes yeah, so i'm so glad we've created this together i think it looks absolutely beautiful and i can't wait to see it hung up with fairy lights on my tree um but if you want to create your own and you're in Southampton or in the surrounding areas, then why not book a rental kit? So we offer rental kits delivered straight to your home, collected once you've painted and then re-delivered once it's been glazed and fired in the kiln. So you could create little handprint ones for if you've got a, a newcomer to your family, or you could create little baubles like this um, and maybe put maybe a few swear words on it to <laughs> describe 2020 or something like that um, but yeah I've enjoyed making this bauble with you today guys um, if you liked this video I'd love it if you could like and subscribe um, and we can grow this channel a little bit bigger so until next time have a lovely Christmas or well just have a lovely day and I'll speak to you again soon bye